So, what exactly does it take to be a dream bandit? Well, it's not for the faint of heart. It requires a set of specific skills. Most importantly, it requires a willingness to make things right, no matter how odd that may seem. Earlier that dream, an old friend called for my help. I came as fast as I could, Mrs. C. What's up? Oh, oh, oh I, I am so glad you are here, Mika. My babies are so upset. They were all peaceful. You know how I like to make things peaceful for my dream, dear? I, I love making them happy. Mrs. C, what happened here? My music box is gone. It is the only thing that soothes them. You mean your crummy old radio? <laughs> It has been stolen. Who would want that thing? I mean, who would do such a thing? Grimspawn. Those dirty little shadow thieves. Sometimes making things right means rescuing dreamers in trouble. And sometimes it means going on a raid into the darkest corner of the dream world to steal back a friend's old radio. Close. I can hear them. To be a successful dream bandit, you gotta have nerves of steel. You gotta know when to exercise restraint. Mrs. C's radio. Watch my back, okay? We need a partner who's got your back. Time your actions right. <laughs> and you absolutely got to know how to be stealthy. <laughs> it's just too easy, right, Cyan? Cyan? Sometimes I don't time my actions right. Limited use for dream. At least for now, until I get better at it. It's not ideal, but it keeps you on your toes. And sometimes stealth is definitely overrated. Sounds good to me, Mrs. C. 